Paladin, wielder of the light, champion of all that is holy, and bringer of retribution to the unholy, using the holy light to smite their foes, mend wounds, and protect themselves and their allies, paladins are capable of fulfilling any role within a party, and do it exceptionally well in Wrath. In fact, paladin can be one of the best classes in all of Wrath of the Lich King. With powerful new spells and abilities added to all three specializations, paladins have been reinvented in Wrath. Holy, which focuses on on mana efficient healing has received powerful new additions, allowing the paladin to effortlessly heal more than one target at a time. Protection, which focuses on increasing the paladin's survivability, threat generation, and damage mitigation, is the natural tanking specialization, which proves to be one of the best in all of Wrath of the Lich King. And last, Retribution, which focuses on increasing the paladin's damage through new, powerful, righteous attacks, and is the paladin's go-to DPS spec. Paladins have been changed a lot in wrath, and for the better. One of my favorite quality of life changes is that seals now last 30 minutes and aren't removed when a judgment is cast. Also, judgments have been completely reworked. Now there are three judgment spells instead of one. Judgment of Light, granting attacks made against the judged enemy, a chance of healing the attacker for 2% of their maximum health. In addition to your seals effect, Judgment of Wisdom, giving each attack a chance to restore 2% of the attacker's base mana, in addition to your seals judgment effect, and Judgment of Justice, preventing NPCs from fleeing and preventing players from moving faster than normal movement speed. This is certainly a buff, if you ask me, allowing essentially Judgment of Light and Wisdom to now be baseline judgment spells and allowing the Paladin to use whatever seal they want on top of that, essentially. But besides these reworks, the Paladin also received completely new spells as well, such as Divine Plea. You get 25% of your total mana back over 15 seconds, but the amount healed by your Flash of Light, Holy Light, and Holy Shock spells is reduced by 50%. Also, they get a new shield spell called Sacred Shield. Each time the target takes damage, they gain a Sacred Shield, absorbing 500 damage and increasing the Paladin's chance to critically hit with Flash of Light by 50% for up to 6 seconds. They cannot gain this effect more than once every 6 seconds, but lasts for 30 seconds, and it cannot be on more than one target at a time. This is a nice, it's a bit of a weak shield, but still a nice addition. And then there's also Shield of the Righteous. Slam the target with your shield, causing holy damage based on your block value plus an additional 390. A nice little additional threat generation for paladins, pretty much any type of paladin, but mainly for protection. Other than new baseline spells, the paladin also received new talents and talent changes for each specialization. In the Holy Tree, paladins got improved concentration aura, increasing the effect of your concentration aura by an additional 15%, and while any aura is active, reduces the duration of any silence or interrupt effect used against an affected group member by 30%. This duration reduction does not stack with any other effects. This is very powerful, obviously, in both PvE and PvP situations where you might be silenced or interrupted and you want to get back in the action faster. So very, very strong talent there. Another one is Blessed Hands, reduces the mana cost of Hand of Freedom, Hand of Sacrifice, and Hand of Salvation by 30% and increases the effectiveness of Hand of Salvation by 100% and the effectiveness of Hand of Sacrifice by an additional 10%. Threat issues are gone. I mean, Hand of Salvation being 100% more effective is amazing. Uh, and then those mana reductions are very nice. But I mean, this is just pally buffs getting even better. Very, very awesome. And then we have another new holy talent called Sacred Cleansing. Your cleanse spell has a 30% chance to increase the target's resistance to disease, magic, and poison by 30% for 10 seconds. I mean, that's just amazing. Having increased 30% resistance. I mean, there are tons of disease, magic, and poison effects that can be applied in both PvP and PvE situations. And that bonus resistance resistance at 30% is amazing. And another very strong holy talent is Judgments of the Pure. Increases the damage done by your seal and judgment spells by 25% and your judgment spells increase your casting and melee haste by 15% for one minute. And of course this is in the holy tree so it does give the holy paladin a reason to try to weave in judgments as they are healing. Of course the damage done by your seal and judgment spells isn't necessarily needed but it's a nice little added touch. Really you're going for that casting haste. Another awesome talent is Infusion of Light, which causes your Holy Shock critical hits to reduce the cast time of your next Flash of Light by one and a half seconds, or increase the critical strike chance of your next Holy Light by 20%. In addition, causes your Flash of Light to heal targets with Sacred Shield for an additional 100% over 12 seconds. So this is just boosting your healing to ridiculous levels, obviously getting Holy Shock critical hits, reducing your Flash of Light, cast time is awesome, and also increasing that Holy Light critical strike chance is amazing, and obviously getting a a 
basically double flash of light is super amazing when pairing that with sacred shield very 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 strong new holy paladin talents which just give you so much bonus healing and crit another addition to the holy talent tree is enlightened judgments which increases the range of your judgment of light and judgment of wisdom spells by 30 yards it increases your chance to hit by four percent so this is what really enables your holy paladin to be able to cast judgments very easily from far away and still be a safe distance and be able to get those judgment casts off safely so very very nice addition and finally at the bottom of the holy tree we have beacon of light the target becomes a beacon of light to all members of your party or raid within 60 yards any heals you cast on party or raid members will also heal the beacon for 100 percent of the amount healed only one target can be the beacon at a time this is the spell that allows the paladin to essentially be healing two players at the same time completely effortlessly this is incredibly powerful and essentially doubles the paladin's healing output at no additional mana cost this is amazing and really iconic and what makes holy paladin so so strong in wrath of the lich king moving on to the protection tree talent changes so right off the bat we have divinity at the top which increases all healing done by you and all healing effects on you by five percent nice starter talent there's also a really big addition called divine sacrifice which causes 30 percent of all damage taken by party members within 30 yards to be redirected to the paladin up to a max of 40 percent max health multiplied by the number of party members damage which takes the paladin below 20 percent health however breaks the effect so it will not kill the paladin very very strong new activated ability there's also an improved talent version of it called divine guardian which says when divine sacrifice is activated your party and raid members within 30 yards take 20 percent reduced damage for six seconds in addition increases the duration of your sacred shield by 100 percent and the amount absorbed by 20 percent so this is just all around amazing really really strong raid wide damage mitigation coming from the protection paladin so just incredibly powerful one of the most powerful abilities that paladin honestly has it's it's so strong and then this might look familiar the new talent in the prot tree called spiritual attunement a passive ability that gives the paladin mana when healed by other friendly target spells the amount of mana gained is equal to 10 percent of the amount healed no longer do all paladins get this i know you're probably thinking like that was already in the game well it it was but now it is in the protection talent tree it is not a baseline paladin ability but is only for protection paladins now if they spec into it and finally we have a huge change to ardent defender this has been buffed big time not only does it reduce damage that takes you below 35 percent health by 20 percent but now also causes attacks which would otherwise kill you to cause you to be healed by up to 30 percent of your max health based on defense can only happen once every two minutes this talent is massive because it can prevent raid wipes group wipes and basically gives a paladin tank two lives i mean it is hands down one of the most powerful talents that the protection paladin has and honestly is a big reason why they're one of the best tanks in wrath of the lich king now another powerful talent in the protection tree is touched by light increases your spell power by an amount equal to 60 percent of your strength and increases the amount healed by your critical heals by 30 percent now the main half of that's really the important thing as you know protection paladins are doing a lot of holy spell damage to generate their threats so being able to get that increased spell power as a percentage of your strength is very, very nice to increase that threat generation. And another very cool talent in the protection tree is Guarded by the Light. Reduces spell damage taken by 6% and gives a 100% chance to refresh the duration of your Divine Plea when you hit an enemy. This is huge. This is literally solving all mana issues for Protection Paladin. Literally no more mana issues for Protection Paladins. In addition, your Divine Plea spell is 100% less likely to be dispel so there it is protection paladins are never gonna have to worry about mana as long as they are constantly hitting enemies this is great very very cool new talent and even cooler we have shield of the templar reduces all damage taken by three percent and grants your avengers shield a 100 percent chance to silence your targets for three seconds so obviously reducing all damage taken by three percent is a nice tanking talent and also 100 percent chance to silence your targets is perfect for pulling spell casters no longer do you have to los i mean obviously you still should but silencing those targets really is going to help pulling spellcasters as a protection paladin and finally we have judgments of the just which reduces the cooldown of your hammer of justice by 10 seconds increases the duration of your seal of justice effect by one second and your judgment spells also reduce the melee attack speed of the target by 20 percent very very strong damage mitigation obviously reducing that melee attack speed so just all around very very good for the protection paladin and finally the last talent at the end of the protection paladin tree we have hammer of the 
the Righteous. Hammer the current target and up to two additional nearby targets, causing four times your main hand damage per second as holy damage. This is very, very strong AoE, essentially threat generation for the Paladin. Obviously, they already had lots, but this doesn't hurt to be able to get even more. Uh, so very nice addition to the Prot Paladin tree. And in the Retribution tree, Paladins also got a lot of new talents, such as Sanctity of Battle, increases your chance to critically hit with all spells and attacks by 3%, and increases the damage caused by Exorcism and Crusader Strike by 15%. So very nice, just bonus damage there. Exorcism is able to be cast on any target now in Wrath of the Lich King, by the way. There's also the Art of War, which increases the damage of your Judgment, Crusader Strike, and Divine Storm abilities by 10%, and when your melee attacks critically hit, your next Flash of Light or Exorcism spell becomes instant cast. So this is very, very nice. Obviously in PvE, you can weave those exorcisms into your rotation whenever you get a critical hit, just cast it instantly, which is a nice uh, addition to the Retribution Paladin rotation. There's also Judgments of the Wise, which causes your damaging judgment spells to have a 100% chance to grant the replenishment effect to up to 10 party or raid members, mana regeneration equal to 1% of their max mana every five seconds for 15 seconds, and immediately grant you 25% of your base mana. So Retribution Paladins, your mana issues are gone. This is amazing to get 25% of your base mana every time you do a damaging judgment spell. So that is absolutely amazing. Another really cool talent is Sanctified Wrath, which increases the critical strike chance of Hammer of Wrath by 50%, reduces the cooldown of Avenging Wrath by 60%, and while affected by Avenging Wrath, 50% of all damage caused bypasses damage reduction effects. Obviously, this can be a very strong PvP talent if someone is cast I don't know, pain suppression, and you cast Avenging Wrath, then 50% of your damage is just going to bypass that damage reduction. So that's very, very nice, or whatever it might be, whether Shield Wall or Pain Suppression or Dispersion, causing your Avenging Wrath to go through that damage reduction is, is very powerful. And Swift Retribution is another new talent, causing your auras to also increase ranged casting and melee attack speeds by 3%. Nice little bonus there. There's also a really cool talent called Sheath of Light, which increases your spell power by an amount equal to 30% of your attack power and your critical healing spells heal the target for 60% of the healed amount over 12 seconds. I know there were some really weird holy builds I saw that went to go get this talent. It's kind of decent. I mean, it's really more of a retribution talent, but it's kind of nice to basically get like a heal over time in addition to that regular heal. Pair that with the Art of War, you get instant cast Flash of Light. So not bad if it gets a critical heal as well. So cool new talent for the retribution tree. And another cool talent for the retribution tree is Righteous Vengeance. When your Judgment, Crusader Strike, and Divine storm spells deal a critical strike, your target will take 30% additional damage over 8 seconds. So very nice way to get that bonus damage, but doing it over time, over 8 seconds, whenever you get that crit, another nice DPS bonus for the Paladin. And then at the bottom of the Retribution Tree, we have a powerful new ability for Retribution Paladins called Divine Storm, an instant weapon attack that causes 110% weapon damage to up to 4 enemies within 8 yards. The Divine Storm heals up to three party or raid members, 25% of the damage caused. That is very, very nice. Obviously, it's going to provide the Paladin with actually some decent healing, but also it does a ton of good AoE damage, dealing that 110% weapon damage. So very, very nice. So when it comes to PvP, Paladins fill a vital role as a healer. They are powerful in 5v5 teams and in 3v3 teams when accompanied by a Death Knight and a Warrior, forming that TSG team. Having a plate-wearing healer in PvP certainly has its benefits. Benefits. To be honest, Retribution can do well, but it is not the meta, in my opinion. Retribution lacks a powerful snare, and as a melee class, I feel that is very, very needed. There was definitely a time when Protection Paladin was completely broken in PvP, though. I remember that like it was yesterday. Pop Avenging Wrath, throw Avenger's Shield, and just one-shot a warrior in the arena. I lived through that. It was amazing. I'm almost certain we won't get that patch, though, in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. But overall, if you're looking for one of the best classes to play for PvP, PvE, and also to be a desired healer in PvP, Paladin is one of the best choices for Wrath of the Lich King. And if you enjoy playing the fantasy of the Holy Warrior who is here to bring forth justice on the evil, then there is no better class than the Paladin.